Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Relics of War, Warhammer 40k, my name is Saiken and today we're going to join the Battle of the Emperor's Chosen when they are trying to defeat the Orcs. A strong and definitely superior force in terms of numbers, but the Emperor never shied away from a conflict, quite the opposite, so let's directly join me when we are trying to uh, defeat the uh, superior foes here we've left off uh, when we had a pretty fierce fight against rocklaw potentially another city over here so that's going to take a while potentially multiple episodes and uh, first thing first we need to heal in order to do that let's jump to here and let's also deploy a fortress. The question is where? Do we want it here? Maybe. Do we want it here? Potentially. Let's place it here. Okay. We're seeing a couple of enemies already moving down. Our group heal moves to here. And we are clustering up in and around that group here. For starters, free action. Inspire everybody and then heal. That was needed because you can see our librarian had taken quite a bit of damage. I'm going to use this here in order to set up a dome. And first things first, we want to destroy the vehicles. Uh, war buggies, no place on the front line, not as long as we are here. Veterans are moving up. Good, we are very much within that force field here. Could hit the boss tower. Um, you know, I don't know how strong, uh, how powerful that city is, so I'd rather be careful. Cities tend to f have a lot of weapons. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and um, work on that front line here. Single Orc is taking a lot of damage and we're going to skip this unit. City has reached its limit, so we need to definitely build a population increase, but that can wait a bit. Oh wow, that was painful. Killer clans. Well, I can tell you what counters killer clans. Damn right, devastators. Good, the marines successfully have killed them. Oh, nice, we got a level up here. Cool. My main question is this turn, or do we want to wait? I think we're waiting until next turn. We're moving up the front line.
Yeah, and we do have really good damage against the fortress, <clears throat> but we need to do it in a joint fashion. We can't, we can't just let the backline go in first. We're going to skip both of the librarians. <clears throat> and in the city, if I build this one, we do have enough to build the population increase next turn. Yes, okay. That way we're saving a turn. Let's get some more frontline done. Lots of damage you can see. And we're taking substantial amounts of damage over here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Good. So, Devastator Marines just became a bit better. And I think I want some anti-air. So, taking down skimmers and flyers. Let's do that. Good. If we're using Signum, uh, we're not increasing our damage, apparently not against flyers, but what we can do is we can melt them with our tech priests, with our librarians. Because they are machines and our obduation mechanicum uh, does the trick. Good. Changing sides here. We need a true tank. These orcs are almost down, shooting them down for some extra experience and a little bit of healing. Problem here is the chaplain has already taken a bit too much damage. So I much rather would like to uh, put him here. And we're going to Provide more experience, maybe he levels up and then can even heal himself. Yeah, five more experience and he should be good. Uh, what is that weird boy doing up there? Uh, yeah, he needs to die. I mean, he is going in our back. That's not okay. So the Devastate the Marines do what Devastate the Marines do, which is kill him immediately. In the meantime, we need to increase... This was population increase? Yep. We need to increase our population over here. And the turn. Uh oh. Uh oh, something big is... is coming. Okay, we need experience so that we can heal. Hmm. 
Move up. Did I kill him? No. Good. That brings us to level six here. And with level six, we are just restoring everybody. That's good. Fortress has been restored as well. Cool. Really solid. Moves up. Builds another telekinetic dome. Good, and we're slowly but surely starting to get rock claw down. Okay, looks like an end turn. It's a big thing here. Still deals massive amounts of damage. Another war boss comes in. Thankfully, it's not only healing for one turn, it is actually healing for two turns, believe it or not. Self heal in the front line. Just trying to really stay alive here. And now it's time for the city to burn. Truly burn. Because we got all of uh, the nuking power. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Upgrading and just decimating the city. Done. Completely done. Okay, that was fast. Librarians are dealing a holy amount of damage. Hitting that Grokken out. Needs to be another mechanical unit. Flamethrower into his face. Yeah, we're focusing on that Grokken out. Don't want to deal with that ward boss. The veterans should survive. 20 hit points. They are a bit more sturdy than the chaplain. Chaplain also is positioned quite well. Let's order the cities. We are now up to 25 members. That's good. We need more construction capacity. So more requisition, that is, to continue waging war. Five point seven. The war boss definitely hits very, very, very hard. We need to get him down first. Theoretically got some more healing here. 
but apparently we have automatically been healed. Should have given us right uh, immediately. Failed to do that right away. Move up, shockwave. That's not well. Does deal some damage, so that's fine, I guess. We're putting another protective dome around our backline, and. Continue getting this down. I want to close this flank here as soon as possible. Continuing to deal with the war boss. This guy is tough as nails. And in the meantime, we are producing more Devastator Marines. They have been very, very good. And a bit more energy. But I don't want to produce that on the extra tile here. That gives a uh, bonus to influence. So we're, we're going to get a new tile instead. War boss just began to move away. Okay, Marines took damage, that's not good. The Devastator Marines in particular. All my Marines took damage, the source not good. We have a healing. Yes, we do have one over here. Um, moves to here. Chaplin moves back. And everybody gets healed. Shock waving these guys, it should almost auto kill them. Move to here. And it's almost done. Good. Luckily, the flyers are weak against Devastator Marines. The Deftocopters are pretty weak as well against melee attacks, so that's good to have them at the front line. Couldn't completely get them down, but we killed one, 
for the nice defense, fully healed. That was not a bad turn. Good, energy is the next problem that we need to solve. problem. Jesus, everything is dealing so much damage. Moves to here. And heats this uh, guy up. Almost killing him immediately. Is this another war boss? No, just a pain boy. Good, so that's a bit of extra health, maybe. Apparently not. Good, we're just going to hide here, that's the safest place. Helping on that southern flank. And we're yet again focusing on getting these things down. Could have killed that battle wagon, but let's focus on this one for now. Next turn we're going to kill both. We won't open this uh, side here, this flank. I want to keep it calm and steady. Good, more casualties in the meantime. Let's just position ourselves there. We got another frontliner. Fortunately, we don't have that orbital deployment yet. Let's build a another electricity. Just so that we're not always needing to uh, build new electricity. Okay, and we got the hunters finally. So, orbital deployment next. And I think it's fair to produce a couple of those hunters as well. Alright, needed to take a shorter break. So, what do we have left? I think we're okay. I would love to get more frontline. We do have uh, the means of doing that. It just requires more resources. Yeah, we're getting more uh, refactories. This war is definitely taking a lot of resources. Okay, our front line is a bit separated. I don't like that. Wow. Oh, wow. Stupid flyers.
Good, taking them out. It's a good idea. Taking the war machines out next. Oh, there is the war boss. Mm. Are we going to engage him, though? Or are we just going to ignore him for now? I think we're just going to ignore him for now. Moving on. Um, we need to close our front line again. And we do have healing available. We do have healing available, I wonder. I think that's potentially worth it. I think that is worth it. Okay, so we move to here. And we move to here. And then just heal everybody. Oh, that was so good. Put a dome here. That's helpful. The tank busters or the war buggy. Could move to here, but that would be risky. I don't want the librarian in the very front line. Okay, let's kill these guys. Everybody gets experience, do we get? Oh, a level up, nice. The chaplain is the first hero for level 10. Moving all the way to here, and I think orbital strike is still a possibility, isn't it? Yeah, it is. to skip that librarian kill the war buggy and get more front line in very good so our city would take even more captains they are so good Bring up this field and we're going to get more requisition. Uh oh, more flyers. Good, as you can see, the healing still works and works very well. <coughs> Front line moves up. Good, very good. Um Move to here. Move to 
here, move to here, move to here, and rights of war for everyone. Now we're keeping our rights of war here. Need to waste it. Good. Starting to shoot down that bomber. I would love to just melt him. Unfortunately, the only thing that he's really uh, susceptible to is ranged damage. And soon, hopefully, our hunters here. Morale reduction. And I think we're just going to attack the way more efficient target. Move up and the librarian would kill him. Yep. They are effective against flyers, highly effective. Good, we got a front line that is coming in here and is supporting us. One more round and then we can place a new uh, fortress. I think we're going to place it over here, just so that we have a better oversight of what's happening at the front line. Okay, one turn you think that everybody, uh, everything's in order, and the next turn it's just batshit crazy. Time to get a bit more rights of war here. Heavy armored units are immediately being destroyed. Okay, flyers, apparently Signum has no effect on them. Good. Say, if we were to hit those Dev Copters, that would deal a lot of damage.
Killing one. And we're moving slightly up to here. That core cannot... Wow, what a big, mean unit. Wow. But we can deal nine points of damage. So for the Emperor it is. Okay, and I need a new tower. A new fortress. I mean, we could go double fortress here. A bit of excessive, I think. We could deploy a fortress right here. This again, might be a bit excessive. Let's place it over here. Gives us vision. Makes sure that the orc boss is attacking uh, the the war boss is attacking something else. And it has a decent range. It's not perfect, but these two now have a lot of firepower combined. Continuing to put more into requisition because we need so much of it. Listen, this is a perfect spot for a nice little cliffhanger. The army is still fighting. Tooth and nails to get to Dot Thing. We have killed one more city, so two are down. But this here is a hardcore city, if there ever was one. So definitely want to get that one down. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Warhammer content, Gladius in particular, leave a comment down below and let me know about it. Uh, thanks for it and have a good day. Bye bye.